It was once said that one in every third person is extremely beautiful or outstandingly handsome. Look at the person on your left, now on your right. If it's not them, it has to be you. Thank God we made it. I'm an educator by trade, so when I see the letters DEI, I look at them from a different lens. D, I think of differentiation, reminding me that everyone is unique and that we have different skills and talents, also lived experiences. When I see the E, I think equity, letting me know that we have to give everyone what they need to be successful by leveling the playing field. When I see the I that stands for inclusion, I think LRE, which means least restrictive environment. Giving people access to resources and opportunities that they wouldn't otherwise have. So for those of you in the room today, you can exhale. Our work here today is to help you see DEI with a new lens. I grew up on the south side of Chicago. My brother and I were two of the most recognized drug dealers on the south side, until one night something happened that changed our lives forever. We were outside selling drugs. Two men crept along the side of the house and opened fire. I could still hear each bullet as it exploded out of the chamber, whistled through the air, and ricocheted off the house. Four people got shot that night, I know those bullets were intended for my brother and me, but we survived. I contemplated suicide. The life I had known, I didn't want to go back to. I knew I needed to change, but I had no college training. The new life I wanted, the people there wasn't ready to embrace someone like me because my lived experience was different from theirs. Whenever you educate people and you build this culture of belonging, profits and productivity are a byproduct of investing in your people. Companies that are in the top quartile in both racial and ethnic diversity are 35% more likely to have financial returns above the industry median. Now it's your turn. You ready, Sean? I'm ready! <laughs> When people feel like they belong, they bring a voice to work. When people feel like they belong, they bring more of their true selves. They see their co-workers with greater compassion, and it spreads. It's about the freedom of people being exactly who they were created to be. This was the most fun that I have had in such a long time. When people feel like you care for them beyond the work they do for you, they care more about the work they do for you. That's what creating a culture of belonging is and what it can be.